Good afternoon, friends. This is Chris Haynes coming to you on this Wednesday, February 10th. Hope that you are doing well today and staying warm wherever you find yourself. Uh, today, for our uh, time together, uh, I mentioned yesterday that this week I'm trying to uh, put together some scripture readings that focus on the idea of love, since we are uh, celebrating Valentine's Day together, it seems like an appropriate time for us to talk about uh, the Bible's grounding idea of love, God's love for us and our love for each other. So today I want to read for you from the Gospel of John, chapter 15, verses 9 through 17, and this is part of what is referred to as Jesus's farewell discourse to his disciples. Uh, before his crucifixion. So listen to these verses and what Jesus says to his followers about uh, the quality of God's love and the quality of their love for each other. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. I have said these things to you so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer, because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends, because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from my Father. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, so that the Father will give you whatever you ask him in my name. I am giving you these commands so that you may love one another. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Today we continue to hold uh, a number of folks in our prayers, including Bill Bobbitt, Buck Summercamp, Janice Patterson, Kay Simpson, Patty Almond, Ray Berryman, Rick Hart, Charlotte Polk, Reed Anderson, Tom Riney, and the family of Jerry Graves, the family of Bill Emerson, family of Gary Denley, family of Harvey Markham, and the family of John Bradley Eason. For these and for all who are on our hearts, let us go to God together as we pray. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray that you guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight through Jesus Christ our Lord. Together we pray for the people of our congregation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who suffer and those in trouble, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who are working for peace and justice in our world, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all of our elected officials at every level, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the church universal, its leaders, its members, and its mission, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And for the communion of all the saints, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray together using the words that Jesus has taught us, saying together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. 
Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Look forward to being with you tomorrow. Bye-bye.